Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, this is BT Plays here and today we're in the Crew 2 and we'll be testing out the Lamborghini Huracan Yes, um, I talked about in my last video that the Huracan and the Diablo GT are in a bundle together so we'll be testing out the Huracan and also the Diablo GT as well which will probably be um, tomorrow's uh, video but for now we'll be testing out the Lamborghini Huracan and we'll see how well it is and the uh, customization and stuff like that but before we get into it make sure you do like and subscribe because last time i found out it was free so um make sure you do like and subscribe as it does help with the channel a lot but yeah let's get back into the video so we have the Huracan here um we can get it in a bundle which is um i'll, I'll go through the price in a minute but separately it costs 623,700 crew bucks and also 89,100 crew credits so it's a fairly pricey vehicle for a street racing vehicle so um we're gonna get the bundle we're not gonna buy um one car for 600k we're gonna get the bundle and uh we'll get the, both of the cars in one then as well and i'll also go over the diablo gt price when it comes to the diablo gt video but for now it's just a huracan so as you can see it costs about one yeah one point just one million one million crew bucks which is very reasonable for these two vehicles so we're going to purchase that right now and there you go we have the Huracan and the Diablo GT now let's have a look at the customization that the Huracan has to offer in this game because um, I haven't really tested out many Lamborghinis on this channel um, and mainly I don't know why I really don't know why I haven't tested out many Lamborghinis but definitely want to and I can't find my car <laughs> I think it's down there somewhere here it is all right the Huracan here it is so let's select it and it does look pretty nice and it? it does look really nice probably I say this and the Aventador are the nicest Lamborghinis I think in my opinion but that's just my opinion but let's get to the customization of this vehicle and then we'll get to the performance and then we'll test it out as well. So the customization of this vehicle, is there gonna be anything special? Probably not, it's, it's Ubisoft and it's a Lamborghini, but you can change the color, delivery, and the vanity items to whatever you wish. Uh, okay, now we get into the visual parts and it looks like we have a fair bit to customize. So we have six hoods to choose from. Yeah, I was guessing free carbon and free primary color. I like that one. 12,000 to uh, put put some parts on this thing. It is a Lamborghini still, but yeah. We also have eight front bumpers to choose from as well. Okay, I like this. Yeah, we're gonna go this one, I like that. I, I did like the Italian flags, but that's more of a Ferrari thing for me. We also have two rear fenders as well. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have air vents. I don't really like the air vents on the Huracan, I'm gonna leave it off for now. Um, the rims as well, and, um, we're gonna make a matte black here. Caliper colors have to go red. Um, side mirrors, there is two to choose from. There is uh, the red one and, well, the primary color ones and also the carbon with the Italian flag. Again, we're gonna, we're gonna stick with the, uh, the primary color ones. Um, we also have two skirts as well, um, carbon and red. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, buy that. Um, two rear fenders okay this is this is unique I'm gonna put that on as well that looks very nice four rear wings to choose from as well obviously this thing it needs a bit of a needs a bit of a wing we're gonna have a, the carbon one eight rear bumpers as well which um, all look very nice all these customizations by the way do look very nice so um well done Ubisoft on that part and I'm pretty sure that's it yeah so that is it. Um, I'm gonna quickly change the color of this vehicle to, oh, we're gonna change the color to, we'll change it to blue. Blue does look nice. Yeah, we'll change it to blue. You don't see many blue Lamborghinis driving around, do you? <laughs> don't see that many, but it does look nice. Um, we're gonna have the blue interior as well. Um, what we're gonna have, have a carbon, there we go. And that car is now fully customized and it looks very, very nice. The customization was very up there. Um, I, was not, I was definitely not expecting that. Now let's get into the performance parts and see what this vehicle is like at base performance level. So as you saw, yeah, the base performance level is a 208 and um, the top speed is 
just below 201 miles per hour, it's probably about 190, uh, maybe even climbing up to about 195. Um, also has 700 horsepower as well. Now let's add some parts onto this vehicle and we'll see how well this vehicle actually is and um, we'll have a look at the, um, have a look at the, um, I forgot, <laughs> but don't worry, um, I'm just, I'm just nabbing some parts here because I don't have enough parts. I need to definitely grind out some, some more races because I'm running out of parts. I've got loads of wheels and stuff, but I'm just running out on a few parts. So these are the full stats of the 280 vehicle. We have a top speed of 226 miles per hour, 848 horsepower, 0 to 16, 2.53 seconds. It's not great. <laughs> Quarter mile in 9.43 seconds and brake distance 60 to 0 in 18.1. I was definitely expecting the 0 to 60 to be a bit higher, but whatever. Well, it's what it is, um, but hopefully it feels nice to drive. So we will be back in a second at an event uh, to test out the Huracan. So yeah, we'll be there in one second. We're here at the event and this vehicle looks very nice. I can't wait to try it out. It looks very nice. Even though the frames are dropping on me, it still looks very nice. Um, but yeah, we're at Detroit Interstate on Ace as always. And um, let's see how well the event, not the Aventador, the Huracan actually is. I'm just used to driving the Aventador because that's the only Lamborghini that I actually have and own in this game. It's snowing, but hopefully the, uh, the Huracan can counter that and still perform well so let's see how well it performs I'm quite excited for this okay it didn't feel like 2.53 seconds I can't lie I've definitely uh, um, dealt with slower vehicles on this game but so far it feels decent obviously we haven't had any sharp turns to uh, to make as of yet there's one it deal with that fairly decently Titan does feel um, not Titan <laughs> turning does feel a bit tight just a tiny bit it, it does feel um, very clunky to move um, but speed wise we're making good speed I guess but yeah turning it just feels quite heavy in some parts but if you brake the right amount, it can definitely um, definitely make the turn. And the, the braking feels fairly fine as well. But um, so far, it, it doesn't feel like it's matching up to its 600,000 uh, crew buck price tag. But it feels very, uh, very average and very, just very average. It just feels like any other vehicle in this game that um, costs about... 300 to 400 thousand crew bucks but the speed is definitely on its side it's definitely um definitely a very fast vehicle um and i could have tested out both the Horican and the diablo gt obviously i do a versus series so i could i could have done a versus episode with the diablo gt and the Horican, but because the diablo gt is a bit older than the Horican, i just thought it'd be unfair and the Horican would win. I know I did it with the EB110 and the Sento Dieci, but that was different. That was because there were two new vehicles and I had to get both of them out ASAP. So, um, yeah, but these two vehicles have been in the game for quite a long time. Um, but I've just decided to go separately with each of the vehicles. And um, that's probably the best, the best approach. And the Aventador, yeah, it just feels very average. It doesn't feel like anything special. I, can't lie. So that's the race done. Um, I got a nice try of the vehicle again. I could, I could maybe try this vehicle for another one, two, maybe even like three more races, and it, I could completely change my uh, perspective of this vehicle. But first time impression, it doesn't live up to its 600, um, 600,000 crew buck price tag. Obviously, is very nice. The customization as well, very, very good. Um, it's a horror can. Everyone was a horror can. Um, so because of that, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. 
obviously the the speed was good the acceleration was also fairly good even though it says 2.53 seconds 0 to 60 it didn't feel like that necessarily and also the braking yeah was good it was just a turn in um, overall it was just a turn in that had uh, a poor impact on this car but overall fairly average there was a lot other better cars out there that um, can save you a lot of money but because of the customization and also the rest of uh, rest of the performance and also because it's a it's a Lamborghini everyone wants a Lamborghini I will give it a 7.5 tell me what you think of this vehicle down below if you have tried it and it's it's on discount so you may as well try it and tell me what you think of it down below but yep yeah, that has been me and I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you in the next one peace